Hey, what's up everyone? Basil White Dragon Masters here. I'm here at the uh, Santa Monica Premiers. Uh, behind me is the AMC here, and I have a movie review uh, for an interesting government movie, Snowden. Let's have a seat. Okay. Uh, right. So, the movie review is for Snowden. Uh, Snowden uh, was a controversial film because it's a, it's based on actual true story facts uh, that happened over a span of nine years between 2004 and 2013. And it's based on a character, an actual man called Edward Snowden. Uh, and Edward Snowden, by 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 many, uh, in, is considered a hero in the United States, pretty much all over the all over the world. For what he did by exposing the United States uh, corrupt government. I won't go into detail. This was history and it's if you look back it's it's already out. But they made a film on it and they chose a perfect guy to play that character. The actual Edward Snowden is actually a, a better looking guy than <laughs> Joseph Gordon Levin, who played um, Snowden. But apart from that, I have to say the movie itself could have been a lot more interesting. I unfortunately cannot give this a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 or even an 8 out of 10. I would have to give this a 7 out of 10. And the reason I have to do that is because it was kind of boring. It really was boring. Uh, it didn't pick up until much later. This film could have been so much more better with the, you know, with the anxiety and, and you know, with the suspense and everything that was going on. They could have done a much better job. As far as acting is concerned, obviously, uh, Joseph uh, Gordon-Levitt, uh, even though they chose a good guy facially, physically, uh, he, for me, personally, just cannot get out of this entire uh, uh, young boy, 10 Things I Hate About You, 500 Days of Summer type of shell. He just, he stays there. Um, for his acting ability, he tried. He really, really tried, but I don't think he could, I, didn't, I don't think he really pulled it off. I think maybe a, 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 a somebody a little bit more uh, seasoned would have been able to do a better job. That's what I think. That's my opinion. Um, but guys, it's, 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 it's one of those long, drawn, stretched out films. Um, it, it, definitely the message was great um, he you know he is considered a hero um, and at the same time he's considered a traitor and that depends on what side of the, of, of, of the political sphere you're on uh, you know but apart from that I have to say uh, the movie is definitely it's it's not bad that's the word I would use fair not bad bearable watchable uh, but it really, it, you know, it, it really was quite boring for a while. And they could have made it a lot more interesting had they changed the music a little bit more. Had they added some more character, some more uh, characters in it that would have given that a more of a suspense feel. So, uh, other than that, uh, Snowden, 7 out of 10. A film you could watch, a film you can ignore. It depends if you're into the government corruption thing. Now that the elections are coming by, this is the perfect movie to release, right? But anyway, guys, 7 out of 10, Snowden. Check it out if you like. Basil the White Dragon Masters, out. Yeah.